Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to more Pokemon White Egglock. In the last episode, we made it here to Striaton City, home of the first gym. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on that gym. So, as always guys, if you leave a like, if you enjoyed the episode, that would be awesome. And I have to give three thank yous. First one goes to Raymond Hall for, provide, or, okay, for providing me with Demise, the Illumise. Then we get one for uh, Volcaneer, who provided me with Volcaneer, the Cyndaquil. And then to Chris Chick, who provided me with Caesar, the Piplup. I didn't get a comment from the person who gave me uh, APOM or Teal GM, so unfortunately I can't give you a special thank you, so hopefully you'll leave a comment and I can actually uh, thank you in the video for it. But yeah, thanks to those three guys for providing, or providing me with such awesome Pokemon, and um, yeah, let's get into this thing. So, we're going to explore Strikes and City before anything else, and see if we can get any goodies or whatever. So if we can, that'd be great, and um, I don't remember if you really get much here apart from the stuff I think I've already gotten, which is like the Dusk Ball, the Great Ball, all that stuff. So maybe I'm wrong, hopefully we can get some, uh, some cool things. And, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in this house unless the Petrat, no, that doesn't give me anything, or the Pet Little. No, that doesn't give me anything either, not, kind of ex didn't expect that, you know, for a Pokemon to give you an item, but, you never know, but, yeah, nothing in that house, which sort of sucks. I do like the layout of Strides and City, actually, it's really cool. Uh, I mean, like, the way you can go into the houses from the sides or whatever, but this one just has, like, a dead end, so... Sucks. Um, yeah, so it doesn't seem like there's much going on here in, uh, in Stryton City. Which is fine, because that's a gym, that's more than enough. Hey, make sure you do get a Great Ball, so sweet, alright, we didn't, uh... See, this is what exploration gets it, you know, you get some new, uh, new Pokeballs, or you get new items, which... You could miss out on Castellia City is going to be in a new is going to be a nuisance to explore. That thing is huge. Probably just spend a whole episode just running around there trying to get items. All right, so yeah, nothing in this house, and um, in the next house we can only do the bottom floor, and I know there's nothing in there. So let's see what this dude says here. Are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Alright, so yeah, well, hey, uh, right here, this is the Pokemon Trainer School. And there is nothing going on with this dude, so let's head inside and see what's happening. The Trainer School exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Right, okay. Pokemon have mysterious powers called abilities. Abilities have a variety of effects, and many of those effects are activated when Pokemon are in battle. Cool. There are techniques that you let you cancel evolution. I read about it. Okay, yeah, I know that you press B to. Stop evolution, I wouldn't really do that. Um, sure. Which of the following item cures poison? Antidote. Which, uh, but... Oh, the awakening. Yeah. Alright, so we get a full heal for, uh, for doing that quiz. That's great. Full heal, heal well, it gets rid of any status infliction, which is great, including confusion, which is awesome. And, uh, this guy doesn't give you anything. So, here is Charon. I think we're leading off with Caesar. Um, that might not be bad, though. So, yeah, let's uh, take on Sharon, I guess. Or talk to him, at least. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, Stu, have you come to look for the gym leader? He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Stu, will you leave a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Alright, cool. Well then, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test out how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Alright then, so, we're gonna be taking our rival Charon, we take on Bianca in the last episode. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we do. So, we're gonna be leaning off with his Oshawa, his starter Pokemon. It is level 8. Obviously, this isn't a great battle for uh, Caesar, because it's level 1, but it is a good battle for it to get experience. So, I'm gonna go out into Demise. Look at this thing is bulky. Wow, like 39 HP. That's bulky. So yeah, we're going into demise. The uh, the Ilumise. I should definitely be able to take a hit from this thing. And I actually just noticed that it's actually not in a Pokeball. It just came out with something different. I have to check the balls actually. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. Like they, they don't have like they're not just in Pokeballs. They're in different kinds. Anyway, wow, we just totally like obliterated that thing's HP with a Bug Buzz. As it's gonna go for tackle. And that did absolutely... Wow, Ilumise is too good at this point in the game. <laughs> Especially with Bug Buzz, it just destroys everything. So yeah, we're just gonna take out that. And there goes Oshawott. And that's Demise up to level 10, and Caesar should get a handful of levels here. So, up to level 2, 3, 
four. <laughs> Learn Growl. Alright, go up to level four. Uh, Purloin is next. So we'll go out into uh, Caesar, and then we'll go out into Teal, because Teal needs to get up to level 10 as well. Gotta distribute the levels fairly and everything, so... Out into Caesar we go. And the Purloin is level 8, and I can't get it with a Revenge with my A-Palm, so... Let's just switch out and go into Teal GM, who should hopefully be able to take care of this Purloin pretty easily. And this thing's in a Quick Ball, I just saw, I saw that when it was coming out, so it's gone for Assist. And that's going to let it use one of Oshawott's moves, and it gets Tail Whip, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm going to be going for Revenge, which means I am going to have to take a hit. I think I should be, like, decently enough. I should have enough health to take a hit for sure. That did absolutely nothing, even after Tail Whip. And uh, Revenge is just going to obliterate that thing. So there we go. Take out that Purloin. And Siege of Level 5. Why do you get more experience for beating the... Uh, for the Purloin, I will never know, but whatever. So learning to use items well is, imp is definitely important then. Oh, here's two. I'll give you these berries. Alright, so get some orange berries for Charon. That's great to heal up like 10 HP. Or not, yeah, is it 10 HP? I think so. Uh, if you give Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it'll eat it up and heal its HP when it goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. Alright, so that's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, what we are going to do is go heal up. As you can see, there's someone different standing outside the gym, so that's great. And um, yeah, let's just heal up our Pokemon real quick. So there we go. And uh, yeah, we will go to the gym, I guess. I didn't do some leveling up. I think I should be strong enough. I mean, my team looks pretty strong at this point. <laughs> I mean, we got some really strong Pokemon here, so I think we should do good regardless of the, uh, the gym levels. Yes? Yes, I am the gym leader of this town. You are? Right. You want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig. I see. It's weak against water-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Alright, so when he says that, that pretty much means get that, like, monkey from the, uh, the person in the dream yard. I called it the dream world in the last episode of my mistake, or when I was on the way to Strite and City, I called it the dream world. Because I actually watched the episode again, I was like, oh my god, I screwed up, but mistakes happen. So it's not a big deal, but yeah, you can get that, uh, whatever your starter is strong against is the one that you're going to get. So I got Pants Age, but I put that in the PC and got a uh, Piplup instead from an egg. Anyway, this gym puzzle, I say loosely, is, uh, you put the, well, you have these buttons here, and they're all for different types. That's a grass type, fire type, water type, and you're meant to put the, uh, like the super effective type. You're meant to stand on the button that's the super effective type, so that would be water in this case. Super effective against fire. And we take on this dude, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Care to taste of battle? Or okay, care for the taste of battle, yeah, okay. Alright, so Maxwell has a little pup. I think this, these all are like normal type Pokemon, so could be quite annoying, but it should be alright. So we've gotten to uh, Teal GM. As it goes for a bite, and that does a decent amount of damage, considering I have to go for revenge to probably knock it out. Which will knock it out, obviously, because it's a uh, fighting type move. And it is uh, super effective, and it's strong. And we have an adamant uh, A-bomb, so we're looking pretty good there. Alright, so we got up uh, Caesar to level 9. Pretty much catch or caught up with the rest of the team. And uh, this one is obviously grass, because grass is super effective on water. Obviously, come on guys, come on, you know this stuff. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you. And, uh, the specialty of the Strikes and Gym, the full course, Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Alright, okay. So, Waitress Tia has a Protract, and it's level 10. And we are going to, I kind of want to go into Volkneer and not into Teal. Yeah, we'll go to Volkneer. Just go for a Flame Burst. So it goes for Tackle, and oh lord, for a Pokemon that was getting so many crits last last episode, it just got critted pretty bad there. Wow, that's doing a lot of damage. That is doing a very decent amount of damage. I don't like that. Yeah, that's worrisome. That is very worrisome. Alright, so he's up to level 10. 
and Purloin is next. Um, because it's level 10, I don't need to switch it in to get experience, so we'll just go right out to Teal. And hit this thing up with a Revenge. So, take a scratch very kindly, and Revenge is going to knock it out. So, there we go. And I'm going to take the uh, Lucky Egg off of my Piplup, because it doesn't need to hold anymore. Alright, so yeah, Caesar's caught up to everybody else. Excellent. And I think we're going to be using Demise against the Gym Leader. We're going to use our strongest Pokemon. So yeah, Fire does defeat Grass. But before we move on, I am going to go and heal up to get that like thing out of the way. So I just have a clear run at the Gym Leader as soon as I get back from the Pokemon Center. So we'll just heal up real quick. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So <laughs> going to be taking on the Gym Leader uh, with level 10, but... We'll see if we do good. I'm hoping we'll do alright. And there we go, so we're all healed up. And we are ready to rumble, so... Let's head to the back of this uh, restaurant sort of area. It's really cool, like a castle thingy. And, um, let's see what's going on with the gym leader. Welcome to the Strideton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist. My name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why three of us, um, are all here, well, uh. Oh, enough. Listen up. The, the three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of your first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you chose first was the fire type, it seems. That is correct. It shall be I, my and my esteemed water types that will be that you must face in battle. All right, so we are going to be taking on Cress, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, we're good. We're hopefully we're going to be able to take him on or beat him. So let's uh, let's get this showdown underway. What incredible luck for you! You get to battle the best among the three of us. Well, that's kind of arrogant, but yeah, this is Gym Leader Cress, and. I love this music, but <laughs> Cress is going to be leading off with his Lillipop that is level 12, oh lord. That's pretty strong, so yeah, we got uh, Demise the Elimeze here, or Elimeze, and what we're going to do is go for a Charm. We do have Prankster, so therefore we get priority on moves like Charm, because all attacking moves get, or non attacking moves get priority with Prankster. As it goes for a workup, we're just going to increase its attack and special attack, so. Yeah, I, we pretty much just put him to minus one as opposed to minus two. What I'm going to do is encore him. I'm going to lock him into work up so he can't attack me. And now I'm just going to pummel him with bug buzzes. So he's going to be locked in for at least, uh, I think encore is like three to five turns. So the longer he's locked in, the better. It is giving him his boosts, but he can't attack me. So it really doesn't make a difference. As a bug buzz is going to almost take it out like right away. Now, I expect Silent, or not Silent, oh, god, I'm so used to Silent from the anime. Uh, I'm expecting Cress to want to heal up here. So, what we're gonna do is go for Growth, as he is gonna heal up with a potion, and then we get a free plus, uh, plus one, which is awesome, as he is still locked into work up, I believe, so, yeah, we're looking good, and there goes the Encore, so, that's finished, he's not locked in anymore, but he is about to get taken out regardless. So there we go, Lillipup is taken care of very easily, and that is Demise up to level 11. Next up is Panpour, his signature Pokemon, and Panpour is a water type Pokemon, so... I'll put all my hopes into my last Pokemon. Alright, so... Um, I could go for Charm, I know that's Water Gun, I don't see the point in going for Charm, when I'm at plus one I can just go for Bug Buzz. And if he wants to go for Work Up, I'm just gonna Encore him again like I did to his, uh to his uh, little pup, but it turns out he's goes for a water gun, which does absolutely nothing, and that is Crest easily defeated, Demise just soloing the gym leader, and that is amazing, so, there we go, up to level 12, and awesome, lose me, I don't believe this, well, bet you better believe it, he's got beat pretty easily too, but you're quite remarkable, it's the Pokemon League rules, so please take this badge. Alright, so we got our first badge. It's the, uh, what badge is it again? I can't remember. I don't remember what it's called. I guess we'll see in a second. But, uh, yeah. Got ourselves the first badge. 
The trio badge, yeah, I kind of I thought it was something like that. Badges are proof of a trainer's ability. If you have one badge, Pokemon up, including training Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Alright, so the game was TM83, it does contain Workup. And they were using that, like, his, tra his Pokemon were using that, so Workup can boost your attack and special attack. And I think I'm going to teach that to whatever can learn it right now, because getting the boosts would be good. So, let's see, only Teal can learn it, or Teal GM can learn it, so we'll teach that. And we'll get rid of Tail Whip, because I haven't been using that very much. And at least with Workup, even though, like, Tail Whip lowers their defense. I'm like, I'm getting the attack boost from Workup, so it really makes no difference which one I use. Alright, so there we go. First gym, easily taken care of. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Alright, okay, so yeah, this is the house that we couldn't actually go upstairs in first because people were blocking us off. You're gonna meet all the Pokemon in the Universe region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. Yeah, I, I can see. I, I know what stairs are. Our room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. Alright, like, <laughs> just calm down. So like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subjects I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you out. This is a hidden machine for you. Alright, so we get cut. Uh, I hate cut, because it takes up a move slot, but whatever. There's some Pokemon, there are some moves that Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. This in machine you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down small trees. And you can use the hidden machine as much as times you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favor, too. This is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Stryzen City. I'd like, someone, I'd, like, I'd like some of the Dream Mist that Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use the Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay, seems like a pretty straightforward mission, so what we are going to do is teach a Pokemon Cut, and I'm pretty sure, uh, I think the best person to learn it would, or best Pokemon to learn it, not person, but the best Pokemon to learn it would probably be Teal, because it has Tail Whip, or not Tail Whip, not, I got rid of Tail Whip, it has a ta a Scratch, wow, and Scratch is weaker than Cut, so yeah, we'll get rid of, uh, get rid of Scratch for Cut. And that is probably the best thing that could learn it, so let me switch my team around. Actually, I don't want to be using uh, Demise so much. Let's go with Caesar. We haven't used Caesar properly yet. I won't give it the Lucky Egg. I think we'll be... I might save the Lucky Egg for when I'm grinding, because it makes the game sort of too easy. Alright, so... Come back here and cut down this tree. We don't need to come back here, but we'll do it anyway, because, you know... You get something for it. You get a Super Potion, so I mean, free Super Potion. Saves me spending 700 bucks. And you also get a Great Ball, so, again, saves you spending, I think, Great Balls or 600? So, yeah, you mean, saving money. <laughs> what's, the, what's the problem? Alright, so, let's, uh, just go, I, he I didn't heal up, did I? I? I'm so stupid for that. No, yeah, okay, I don't need to heal up, really, but, yeah, we'll just go to, uh, the Dream, the dream Yard. I don't need to uh, heal up, because only Ilumise was used in the gym anyway. So the dream yard, or what the hell was that? This is the dream yard, is what I, I was supposed to say. We've been here before, obviously, when we got the uh, the monkey to exchange for Caesar. Hi, Stu, are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? What? <laughs> I'm just really, really wondering how it shows, how showing dreams work. Okay. Hey. Did you hear a sound coming from that other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Okay, she's not even coming then, okay. Moon! Oh, wait! We found you, Muna! Come on, come on, make some dream mist! Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show you them. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Oh, damn! He just kicked. Wow! Come on, spit out the Dream Mist, Muna. You kicking your Pokemon to make it give out Dream Mist? 
That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're gonna rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Stu. Don't uh, don't don't mind me. I'm I'm gonna be just fine. All right. Don't don't worry about me. I'll be okay. So we're gonna take on this team Plasma Grunt with a Patrat that is on level 10, and uh, we'll go for a bubble. See how much damage we can dish out. Not a lot. <laughs> I didn't expect a lot of damage, honestly, because it's bubble. But whatever. So let's switch out into Teal and take a bite and go for revenge just to knock this thing out. As it goes for bite, which is alright, because I mean I am going to knock it out with a uh, revenge anyway, but I would have knocked it out with cut on the following turn more than likely if revenge didn't take it out. So Teal's trying to learn baton pass, um, no, I don't care too much about baton pass, honestly, so we're not going to learn that. And yeah, the beautiful dream has been destroyed. Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? But whatever, I'm next. Alright, let me beat you too. I love this music. I actually have to listen to the intro before I start speeding up. Din! 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 Now we speed up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so Purloin. I'm gonna see what the bubble does this thing too. That did a, that was a crit, okay. That I thought that did too much damage. And that did actually quite a bit, so we're gonna stay in here with, uh, with Caesar to take on this Purloin. Take a bubble, that's fine. Go for another bubble. Or take a sand attack. I mean, we didn't take a bubble, we just got hit by sand attack. And we go for pound to wrap it up. Sand attack didn't really affect me at all, which is great. And Caesar is up to level 11, which is awesome. And we learned water sport. It useless move. Plasma, this is a nightmare. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Damn, he's just kicking the crap out of it. Come on, make with the Dream Mist. Knock it off. What are you two doing goofing off? We Team Plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you can't, if you cannot fulfill your duties. Th this isn't... Gets us when he's just gathering followers, or gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is gets us when a plan has failed, and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we were so we're so sorry, so he forgives us, and they just run away. What was that just now? That person called Gets us appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. Oh. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? And yeah, what? Is that me? What? <laughs> Is there Musharna around here? Well, off they go. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us like a dream. And then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna. So seeing Muna in trouble, it used a power, its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Phew, how random was that? Stu, why don't you go to fa Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit there in a second because we do have some items we can pick up. So unfortunately, I can't catch a Pokemon here because... We already got our encounter, which was, uh, our pants age, Broccoli, which we exchanged for Caesar. And, yeah, these wild Pokemon are already starting to annoy me, so... Luckily, we don't have to catch anything here, but... There's a Pokeball, so, again, another handy item to help us catch things. And, uh, I want to go over this way. Which will lead us to... An item over here. I think it's a Repel. Yeah, we get a repel over here, and we can get another item on the other side, so let's go over this way, and grab ourselves a potion. It doesn't seem worth it, but yeah, it actually isn't. <laughs> it really doesn't seem worth it for just a potion, but whatever. It's not big. They're like right in front of you. You don't need to do anything like crazy to get to them, so yeah. Anyway, 
let's head back to Fennels now that we've uh, got some new stuff and whatever. And we sorted out that dream mist scenario. So, see what's happening upstairs. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some dream mist. And now I can collect safe files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you the C gear to use. The Z gear is a device related to communications, such as infrared correct or connection, or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, which ends tomorrow. So yeah. No real point in the C gear now. But there we go, we get the C gear. And um I didn't mean to turn the C gear on, but whatever, we'll just turn it on anyway, it doesn't really make a difference. Just yeah, I shouldn't have turned it on. You see the Z gear is activated when that screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon at the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the C gear. About GameSync. Uh no. <laughs> I don't want to know any of this, because I don't care. I really have like no interest in this whatsoever. So yeah, that's you just telling me about the C gear and in I'm speeding this up, I I'm tired of this. Anyway, we got a uh is the pal pad, yeah. So you register your friends and battle over Nintendo Wi Fi connection, which ends tomorrow. So we can't. <laughs> and uh that is pretty much it, so I think with all that's and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here. In the next episode, we are going to be leaving Strideson City and making our way towards Nat Green City, home of the second gym. So, with all that's and done, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be great if you could leave a like. And, um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will be seeing you guys next time. So, see you guys then.